Okay, we are back to play some more Panzer Corps 2. We just finished Operation Wagtail. We're going to move on to the next mission. It's a Saturday. It's a day after my birthday. Uh, I'm wearing my new Hiss t-shirt that uh, Regina Mitchell got me. Thank you for my birthday. And I am accompanied by Miss Fluffy Muffy, who is hanging out today in the sunshine. So... We are going to go on from here and proceed on the ahistorical route, the ahistorical path towards victory. For Hitler and Germany, probably not for Hitler. Uh, how you guys doing? I had a good night last night. Uh, all right, Operation Bark at 30th of April, 1940. Five. This is Wagner. Orders have just been confirmed. Our spring offensive to eliminate the Soviet Poland salient begins tomorrow. Perhaps we're trying to learn from the near disaster of Kursk and waiting too long, says Rommel. While I agree that giving our enemies too much time to prepare again would be a mistake, there are some disadvantages we'll face. As a result, the next generation of Panzers are not available for our offensive. The Panzer 7 Low is not widely available unless we have unless we still have some prototypes available. Shut up, Jen. Um, unless we have still have some prototypes available and the new E100 isn't even ready with deployable prototypes. But we do have the mouse to serve as a breakthrough tank. Its slow speed will be unsuitable for the distances we need to advance to make Operation Barca a success. Mm. Primary objective... Um, it's like whenever I come in to record these things, everybody on my Telegram starts posting on my Telegram. Make contact with Army Group East Ukraine. Okay, so they are way down in the south uh, eastern corner of the map. Something to keep in mind. Primary objective, hold both starting victory axes for the duration of the battle. Well, that's not going to be a problem. Primary objective, eliminate at least 25 Soviet guards tank army units. Okay. Conjunction, in conjunction with our offensive, Army Group East Ukraine has also been on the move. Some of their forces have advanced as far as this part of the Prut River here. But this seems to be as far as they're going to be able to advance, yeah. Uh, um, it will fall upon us to link up with them and sever the southern stretch of the Soviet salient hanging above Romania. Soviets have been in control of this region since their 1944 Kutuzov offensive, so there is every reason to expect some level of fortified defense lines will be present to challenge our advance. We already know this part of the Dniester River has been a seen construction of a series of heavy forts. Oh, Houghton or Houghton, Houghton, Houghton. Despite my prejudice against such static fortifications, I cannot deny it was a smart move, says Rommel. Immediately due west of these heavy forts, and Niester River is completely unsuitable for crossings, thanks to the geography of the Dniester Canyon system. Okay. Looks like we have some special units there, though. This presents quite the barrier that will make cooperation between our two main battle groups much more difficult. Yes, but it will provide perfect cover for a detachment of Otto Skorensky's Friedenthal Commandos. They're currently rafting downstream through the canyon and will be available to help us clear the series of heavy forts around the town of Houghton. Regardless of when or if our two battle groups link up, we won't accomplish our mission until we link up with Army Group East Ukraine. Okay, that's way down there. As with Curse before, we should probably expect to encounter layers of enemy defenses and minefields. And once we break through those, defeating any Soviet mobile armored reserves will be necessary to secure the flanks of our advance. We fought this kind of huge battle before and know what to expect of it, but just be on guard for any new tricks the Soviets might have, says Rommel. They too have had to fight this kind of battle before, and I'm certain they've also learned a trick or two since Kursk to victory for Germany. Okay, that is the setup. We'll be right back to set the order of battle. Okay, now we're back to set the order of battle. We've got all these um, aircraft from our previous uh, 
mission operation wagtail. We've got a few air bases to operate from. We've got these Friedenthal special forces. We apparently have one Yag Tiger that somebody gave us. Uh, oh, and a mouse. Sigmar von Teutenborg. Teutoborg. He's in a mouse. Wow. Okay. That's our biggest tank ever. So those are our, some auxiliary units. All right, first things first, get our scout points. Well, first of all, as you zoom back, I think it's about as far as I can zoom, yeah. As we zoom back, um, shit. Looks to me like, well, we can't see, yeah, here's, here's Army Group Ukraine, so we're gonna have to do is put our primary force uh, here, across the uh, the Prut River, probably around Kolomea. Um, fight our way through to Cernati and then link up with them. That's gonna be our main battle group. Um, our secondary battle group is gonna be above the Dniester River, which is just gonna occupy all these guys and take town of Hotin, so. What's that? That's a scout plane? Okay. I guess he's just there to show us what's up. And of course, the first task we have, as always, is going to be to defeat the Soviet Air Force. So. Uh, okay, so let's start deploying our recon planes. We'll put Storch there. Storch there. Put the storch there. And we will put Yeah, this is a photo reconnaissance plane. Put him here. Um okay, our Gotha Horton HO two twenty. Any? Oh yeah, I can put planes here. Uh, the Romanian air base. I I'm gonna sneak and do that. I'm gonna put my HO two twenty nine. I'm gonna put one of them there, and I'm gonna put this ME one sixty three. I wonder if I can upgrade him. Oh, the HO two twenty nine is now a full production unit. Here's the upgrade, the ME-263 Shola. I guess he's a little better. We'll put him there. So we'll make them green squadron. Okay, so that, that's just to help with the air defense here because if the Russians attack with a lot of armor, we're gonna need to put um, tactical bombers in there at some point. Now, um, yeah, again, this is our primary attack force here, so I'm going to put my ME-262 there. My next best ME-262 there. And I'm going to put my H-162 a HE-162 a Volksjäger is a 20 in attack. We have new planes that are better than that. Good range. No. Oh, the ME-262A. Okay, well. I'm going to put one of them here. And, okay, so that's Other fighters. That's because that's what this is, right? This is a fighter or a tactical bomber? Yeah. It's a Dornier 335 Pifle. Fifle. I think that's an experimental plane, right? I'll put him up here. Got another one. Can I upgrade him? He's a 
He's an 18. Now this must be a prototype plane. Right? So if I upgraded him. I'll give him the 163 Bs. Then what that does is that creates more spares for uh, this squadron. Right, because if I go to buy a new fighter. Oh no, it's a, that's a production plane. Shit, well, that's okay. Now, my best tactical bomber, my JU 87G Stuka, and my best heavy bomber. This is the double move heavy strategic bomber. And put this guy up here. I mean, we're gonna we're gonna face a shit ton of armor. Oh, we know that. And also, I have more air aircraft that have not been put into action yet. Yeah. Okay, Ju eighty eight A. Ooh, I got some brand new planes. Ooh, 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 ooh. ooh. These are heavy duty. Wow, I'm gonna upgrade that to a TA fourteen, TA four hundred. Put him right here, heavy strategic bomber. Where's my best heavy strategic bomber? That's this guy. I'm gonna upgrade him to the JU390. That's an epic weapon. HE 177. I'm gonna, I'm gonna convert him to the, even though he, he's got a drop off in some, he, in some skills, he's gonna, he's gonna be awesome. Jet strategic bomber. Fucking epic. Okay, JU 87G with like zero experience and. G129B is going to go there. Do I have more? Yeah, I have more slots. Another tactical bomber here. Uh, and a couple more here. I'm going to have a really hard time protecting these planes. And I can buy a new fighter. Let's get a let's get a fighter out there. Okay, here's how I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna make this into the green squadron. These are my guys. This is going to be the Red Squadron. People are pretty good. I change this guy. Somewhere go with the other guy. And these guys are gonna be blue squadron. And what do 
we do with our uh, auxiliary planes? Panzer Army Ukraine. Okay. Uh, Panzer Army Ukraine. Do we give them a night fighter? It's just, you know, not really that important. All right, now, uh, let's see if we have any heroes. Uh, not yet, they're distributed. Not really, we got three. Three heroes, and they're all uh, ground-based heroes. I do have one lethal. all my aircraft. I don't know that there's enough fighters. We shall see. We shall see. Okay, now. Uh, putting together my That's an interesting camp. scheme do they have? I want to match that camo scheme. But it's not showing up here. Which one is it? Am I just missing it, guys? Two recon cars, two armored cars. How about that one? And I'm going to put him into the field. Down south. You know, I don't like that. It's too light. Alright, what I want to do is get my first battle group together. So I have 
heavy armor, heavy artillery. This is Elsa Kloss. I'm going to upgrade her. Infantry artillery, which I'm going to upgrade to 15. And right there, I'm going to put my Panzerwerfer in this group. And my 288s, I got Carl Werfer. Infantry up front. So my best infantry is going to go here. This is my 22nd Grenadier. 45s. They're going to go there. Uh, my best pioneers are going to go here. Okay. Because there's going to be shit tons of mines to clean. Shit tons. I'm going to have to get some more um, pioneers. Okay, so I am going to want to cross a river here. And I can cross that river, so I'm going to put Richard back here. Uh, got some of my best Wehrmacht infantry. Mm -hmm. Now the pioneers, the pioneers are very effective against mines that are backed by anti-tank guns. Whereas, you know, I should be able, to, uh, in terms of reserves, I'm going to be able to buy the T thirty fours, T thirty four mine sweeping tanks. Oh wow! I have Panzer seven lows. I have E fifties. What is the E fifty? Very powerful. 75. Yowza. And I have my uh, I have my Tiger 2. Panzer 7 low. Tiger 2. Well, what, first of all, what specialties does he have? His AT support, artillery support, entrenchment killer, overrun, double survivor, and steamroller. So, if I upgrade him, like the E50 is tempting. He's actually got better movement. The E 
875 is tempting because he's slightly better in terms of move. What about the Panzer 7 low? He's better, but if I upgrade him, yeah, see, then I lose all those characteristics. Okay, I want to undo that. So I want to keep. I lost all those fucking characteristics anyway. Fuck that. <laughs> okay, so just by testing that out, I lost all those characteristics. E75 is not as good. just happened. Okay, something screwy's going on. Okay, so this is just going to stay a Tiger 2. Okay, um, so that's what I have to distribute there. Um, do I need more artillery? No. This Gerberg's Jaeger. I'm going to upgrade him to another Pioneer unit, so Pioneer 45, I'm going to upgrade him and put him right here. Um, this Falschemager is also going to be upgraded to a Pioneer 45. Tell you what, I'm putting these guys back. I'm I'm putting this pioneer unit here. And actually, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna swap them for them. So my second best pioneers are gonna go here because this is my primary attack. Strike force. I need a faster tank down here as well. I've got my Panther 2. Put him here as well. All right, so that is my main strike force. And they're they're going to drive towards Columbia, Columbia, capture these air bases, and then drive across towards Army Group Ukraine. Before they get destroyed. All right. Now, my northern group. I got my armored car. I have my Yang Panzer IV. Uh, do I want to convert him to anything else? Nice, pretty good. So that's an anti-tank killer. Um, I have this mouse. So I'm going to put on his road and he will drive east. Um, I 
I've got a Tiger One, which we will upgrade to a Panzer Seven. Actually, he can, he can get upgraded. I can't upgrade him? I can't, uh, no, I'm at my max. Okay. All right, this Panther G is going to be part of this battle group as well. Back there. My Panzer IV is going to get upgraded to a Tiger One. Actually start I can start buying auxiliaries so what we're gonna do is we are going to buy a bunch of t-34s line sweeping tanks we're gonna put them over here and over here and remember these these can be rendered ineffective by um, these can be rendered ineffective by um, anti-tank guns. So you want to avoid the anti-tank guns at all costs and attack them with pioneers instead. So if there's an anti-tank gun behind a minefield, um, that's bad. So we don't want that. Okay, also, I want to get some anti-aircraft defenses. Oh, what's this? New flak gun. Ooh, I like that. We'll get four of those, and we will color them. Some sort of reserve. We gotta get our long range artillery here in this battle group. We have to get our Wurf Ramen here, and then we gotta get our 88 right there. Okay, and then we have our two anti tank truck or anti aircraft trucks. Okay. Have our other grenadiers are going to be here, and our backup pioneers are going to be here um, and here. So we got lots of pioneers. We got Vermont infantry here and here, and another Vermont. Uh, also need a river crosser, bridger up here. So there might be a river to cross way down there. Okay, now, uh, what to do with the Falschenjägers? Well, first of all, those Falschenjägers, can I, I can assign a hero to them? I'm gonna, um, I'm going to put my elite Falschimjägers, I'm going to give them all trucks. Make them part of this group. Because 
because they are good for specialized fighting. So the idea is to break through the defensive lines here and be ready to help them assault at a hotel when the special forces troops are ready. So I'm going to put all of my elite guys here in this group. And then these false Jaegers. I'm going to convert them to pioneers again. I can't. Can I convert them to, yeah, they're locked infantry. I can. Okay. So, what about reserves? I've still got quite a few. Reserves. Is there a fighter plane? A bomber? I can't. Shit. Uh, okay. How about an anti tank unit? Headser, can I get a headser? No, oh, that's a five. I'm just trying to use up these last two. Um... Last two slots. How about an Ostwind? Okay. Um... Reserves, tank reserves. I got shit tons. Uh, capture tanks and stuff. I can put a reserve. Do I really? I have a few. I'll add a T forty four to the basket. I'll add an IS three. I think I am as ready to start this battle as I possibly can be, and so I will be right back to do that in a few minutes. Okay, now we are ready to start. Some of your heroes are not assigned. Well, okay, so what heroes are not assigned? So I'll have to find a unit that can take a hero. Those are all reserves. Okay. Hero, what hero's not assigned?
Oh, auto carious, a tank class, anti tank class. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll assign him to this mouse then. All right. So we'll go in, we'll look at his heroes. We will unassign fast learner. And we will assign auto carious. Okay, he must have gotten, his unit must have gotten destroyed. That means I can put a fast learner on one of my other units. There we go. Now I should not get that message. Yes, here we go. Okay, so I'm going to start with the northern. Yeah, see, here's what they do is they back their minefields with anti-tank guns and, and artillery. And that means that, like, the T-34 tank, mine clearing tank, is going to get, see, he's going to get almost completely destroyed if he attacks those mines if he attacks these minefields up here he'll be much more successful so I want to use the uh, pioneers to go down and get those but we're going to start up here with these guys alright I have two T-34s here's one of them let's clear those mines and we get an override we get another override See, because they would get. He would get destroyed there. All right, so, uh, our nearly story. Here's a pioneer. Don't I have two pioneers? Yeah, here's a pioneer. Here's a pioneer. There's a pioneer. Everyone's a pioneer. So, I'm going to need that pioneer to come in and attack that minefield because that anti tank gun's not going to be effective against him. I'll move this E75 up. Oh, there was another minefield there. I didn't know. I'll move my mouse down the road, pair up with my Yag Tiga. Okay, my other T-34 should be able to come over here and hit that minefield. Now, if he hits, if he, oh, he didn't get an overrun. Okay, well, that sucks. Um, I'll put this pioneer. Panzer IV, right there. Here's my armored car. Okay. Okay, they can't really do anything through those minefields. I don't think they can attack me through those minefields without... All right, I have my um, War for Ramen. I'll destroy that minefield with my rockets so that my um, mouse can attack that artillery later. Okay, so now what I've done is created an opening through which that tank can attack my uh, can attack my scout car. But these guys should be able to do yeah AT support. No AT support on this guy, on this mouse. Okay. All right. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. All right. I've got my long range artillery. I'll hit that anti tank gun. Long range artillery there. Uh, I'll go with my E50. It's an experimental tank. Put it forward. Whoops, not doing that. Putting my grenadiers right through here. And then my 88. Put there for a little anti-aircraft defense. And my other anti-aircraft defense gun. Go right there. Here comes my infantry. 
Oh, this is a Airmont. I forgot to give him a truck. You gotta have a truck in this scenario. Okay. I'll move this forward. Here's my other anti-aircraft gun. Right there. My other Airmont infantry. Or armor, my Panther G, and my E. 75, 59th Panzer 7th node. Okay, I'm gonna gather my Russian reserves here. Now, it doesn't look to me um, like the defense is too great here, so I'm going to attack, or do I want to attack? This is my HE-177. This is my upgraded jet, my E-551111. So what I want to do is attack these anti-tank guns because by attacking the anti-tank guns, if I can destroy them uh, on this turn or the next, then I have a huge distinct advantage. Um, my other tactical armor. scout out the path here. Okay, so I see where the rings of defense are. I'm going to move Skorenzi's troops forward. Although I think it's important not to get them too far forward until the support is there because if I get them too far forward then these, these um, fortresses can start firing on them while they're in their boats and then they'll Okay, and another, let me just be easier if I clustered these guys together, it'd be easier to defend them. Okay, so this is DL 335. I'm gonna protect those aircraft. I'm gonna protect this bomber. I got 262. Scout far and wide. Okay, clearly they have they have a lot of tactical bombers. This is a storage. Uh, do I want to put another tactical bomber out there? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so between my fighter cover and my um, air defenses, I think I'm fairly well protected here. Okay, so this fighter will protect these two. This fighter will protect those three. It's very important early on when the Ruskies have shit tons of um, fighters that you protect. Okay, so format is set. I'm going to march down here. I'm going to attack those, uh, those mines. Okay, this is a great opportunity here for T-34. Clear those mines. He doesn't get an overrun. I find that odd. But it's okay. Clear that road. to take that town. Artillery there. Get my Yag Tiger down here. I'll take that road and 
intersection. Okay, there we go. And get my anti-aircraft gun there. All right. Because what, what we're going to try to do here is fight through all this stuff. We're heading directly south, basically. Try to cross the river here, take all this stuff, and then sweep across to to relieve them. I just don't, I'm just, you know, this looks like a complete meat grinder, so it's gonna be very easy to Well, okay, I tell you what, I'm going to weaken this guy. I'm going to weaken him pretty hard by hitting him with my best heavy bomber, my JU-390. And then return him to base. And can I finish him? Yeah, with this HSB-120. Okay. Okay, so now... This minefield out of the way. Those pioneers. I can get my uh, grenadiers. Catch your grenadiers up there. Oops. Well, at least you found the, at least you found that minefield. I'll get my captured Russian tanks forward. And I will move my um, elite paratroopers forward. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, a lot of heavy defenses, a lot of heavy tank stuff. That's fine. It's fine. Here's my double attack Stuka. Got him pulled back. Move my bridgers forward. Almost have this guy destroyed, so I'm just gonna finish him off with a J87. I can't 
Boy, my uh, my super superior jet fighters are great. This is my uh, observation plane. I don't know, they don't have quite as many, not quite as many. Uh, Planes as I thought they might have. Let's bomb some stuff here, and then I've got this TH-152 fighter bay. Let's get him some action. Let's go after this Sturmovic. I think that is pretty much all of my movement. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta watch it not to get too far uh, out of range here, trying to go after these guys. The best way to destroy this pocket is to get rid of these uh, mines here. Air bases. There's one right here. So there should probably be a fighter there. Yeah, there is. Destroyed. I'll try to protect my best armor. There's no point in fight, you know, I, it's a two to one, it's a loss. So. One to one, still not gonna bother. Okay. Not very good odds on attacks. I guess we'll take out over another minefield. Okay, so I'm going to take out this, really focus on taking out this any tank gun, which will allow my T-34 to knock out one or two or possibly more air uh, minefields. And then my big tanks can come in and take on this other stuff. Same thing here. And my pioneers behind them All right, that's where we're at. I'm going to leave it here. 